one time tried to remove plastic from my life. It's virtually impossible. No matter where you look, we have plastic surrounding us in everything. And yet you talk about the fact that actually this plastic is seeping into our bodies. Tell me more. Give me give me more detail on what's really going on. Absolutely. You know, in fact, it's really scary. Um, we are part of this world where convenience is really important to us, and so we're always carrying a plastic water bottle around mm -hmm. with us. Where we go to the store and we buy pre-packaged foods, foods that are already chopped up and ready to go in plastic, and then we put that in the microwave. Um, so I think we need to really think about that. And so the research tells us that there's a chemical called bisphenol A, BPA, that is in plastics that can break down, get into the food products, come into our bodies, and cause hormone disruption. Right, but um, now most of those products say, you know, they're all flashing that they're BPA free. So we should Great feel point. safe. And now they've got other kinds of plastics that we all feel safe with. I feel like when bisphenol A was the bad guy and was villainized, mm -hmm. they had to really quickly come to the table with another plastic that served this purpose. It's this soft plastic that we can put in the water bottles and we can crunch them down. Mm -hmm. um, but we're still taking those water bottles and we're sticking them in our trunk and they're being transported across the country. And so there's extreme heat and cold and plastics are breaking down. And we don't really know what these new plastic products will do to us because the testing hasn't been done. Could be that they're even worse. And in fact, some of the initial research coming out is telling us just that, that some of the re replacements for bisphenol A are worse than bisphenol A. So um, in my opinion, we really need to go back to drinking from a glass. I know it's mm -hmm. not uh, it's easy to carry around a glass water bottle, mm -hmm. but they make them with kind of a rubber sleeve on the mm -hmm. outside. Um, I'm a fan of stainless steel water bottles for I have three boys and they play sports and they can throw that thing on the ground and it takes a beating and it keeps on going. So uh, many ways to get plastics out of our lives. And in terms of you know that easy prep, why don't we just think about bringing home that lettuce and cutting it up and maybe putting it in our Pyrex containers, that good old fashioned glass, <laughs> and doing the work at home a little bit. Once you get into a routine, it's really not that hard. And you know what? The results are really worth it because if you're preventing yourself from having hormone disruption, you're really um, ensuring that you're gonna have a healthier life. So how about when I go to the grocery store, there are some things, if I wanna get yogurt, if I wanna get milk or juice, all those do come in plastic and it's virtually impossible to not get it in plastic. So. Should, is, does every little bit help? So if, as yeah. much as I can get out, I should get out and where I can't, you know. Exactly, you know, I think you make a really good point. Sometimes we can't avoid plastic altogether, mm -hmm. but we can limit our exposure. So as much as possible, limiting the exposure. So if I can buy the big container of yogurt and then scoop it into my bowl, that's better than having five individual cups mm -hmm. in the plastic. Um, so I think that's one good step in the right direction. And I think, you know, we, we need to do some advocacy work here in our country. Mm -hmm. I just returned from Italy where um, everything that I and drank from was in glass. My yogurt containers, my water bottles, mm -hmm. Glass. Mm -hmm. No one walked around with a plastic coffee cup. Um, so I think it's also awareness building, and if the consumers begin to recognize this and demand it, change will come about. Right. And again, as you mentioned briefly, this really is breaking down our hormones. Yes. And, and it's putting it, making us vulnerable to cancer. So this is real, very serious stuff. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you, Ginger. You're welcome.